2004, the year in which the top athletes of the world meet in Greece for the Olympic Games. A total section of 21 kilometers of motorway, the main arterial road near Athens, was rehabilitated using the Vietkin cold recycling method. The damage to the road body made a thorough rehabilitation inevitable. Extensive preliminary investigations revealed that the pavement structure lacked sufficient load-bearing capacity to absorb the traffic load. The Greek Department of Roads and a local construction company developed a rehabilitation concept in cooperation with the internationally acknowledged consulting engineers Lodon and Partners. A special requirement, the pavement structure must withstand a daily traffic load of 40,000 vehicles. The proportion of heavy vehicles is 25%. The rehabilitation is carried out in various individual work steps, pre-shaping the pavement layer by milling. Pulverizing the asphalt and gravel base course layers. Recycling the pulverized material with foamed bitumen and cement slurry. Placing the binder course on top of the recycled material. And finally, placing a surface course. We are on the job site. The first work step involves pre-shaping the existing pavement, which shows irregular corrugations. This is done by Vietkin large milling machines. A uniform height level for the subsequent operations is achieved by varying milling depths. Next, the asphalt and gravel structure is pulverized. This work is carried out by the Vietkin cold recycler WR2500S. The large machine has the job of scarifying the pre-milled surface of the fast lanes and the truck lanes at depths of 20 cm and 30 cm respectively. A single drum padded vibrating compactor from HAM compacts the pulverized material. This approach creates ideal conditions for the recycling operation. The traffic, here at dawn, continuously flows past the job site. The pulverized asphalt material is subsequently fine-shaped and compacted. Fine shaping with the grader results in a uniform layer thickness for the subsequent recycling operation. The preliminary work has been completed and the construction material can now be cold recycled with foamed bitumen and cement. The recycling train includes a tanker truck, a Vietkin slurry mixer WM1000 and a cold recycler WR2500S. The recycler is fed with bitumen from the tanker truck and with cement slurry from the WM1000. It mixes the foamed bitumen, which is produced in the machine itself, and the cement slurry into the granulated construction material. A highly precise microprocessor control ensures an accurate compliance with the pre-selected parameters. The recycled construction material mixture is compacted and shaped by a grader. Here, the medium lane is being recycled. The traffic flows past on both adjacent lanes, left and right. The men from the field laboratory are present during each phase of the construction operation. They take samples of the processed construction material mixture for the accompanying job site inspection. In the job site laboratory, the sampled materials are then carefully subjected to all mandatory tests. A thorough quality assurance for the entire construction project is thus ensured. Specimens for check tests are produced from these samples. The tests confirmed that the required strength was achieved for each section of the construction operation. Meanwhile, work on the job site continues, even during the night. 
Lighting systems along the motorway and on the machines themselves facilitate this operation, which is carried out under tremendous pressure of time. In a final step, the processed recycling material is now fine shaped and compacted, providing a stable layer characterized by a high load bearing capacity. Although it is trafficable, it is not open to the official traffic yet. First, a 5 cm thick binder course is placed on top of the base course layer and compacted. It will later be followed by a 4 cm thick surface course. Here, Fergula pavers and ham rollers give proof of their efficiency. The binder course being placed now will dependably absorb the shear loads of the traffic later. The surface course is characterized by a high degree of evenness, which is a requirement on all motorways. Lane upon lane and section upon section of the motorway are thus rehabilitated. All in all, no less than 600,000 square meters. This successful rehabilitation project on a Western European motorway is a further reference for the Vietgen coal recycling process, which is a trend-setting method for the rehabilitation of highly stressed traffic areas.